It's the first shelter for families of that faith to be built in Mexico by the Latina Muslim Foundation. Earlier today, 30 Muslim refugees were able to use that shelter for the very first time. CBS H Regina Yurita and Juan Villanueva traveled to Tijuana to get a first look inside. Regina, tell us more. Because of the growing number of Muslim migrants south of the border, advocates have been raising money to build a shelter. That shelter opened its doors today. Living in a predominantly Catholic country where you're not familiar with the area or the language can be a scary time for anyone, especially Muslim refugees living in a migrant shelter in Tijuana. The language, I, I know a little bit about it, but it's so hard. At least that's what Elias from Afghanistan says he's been dealing with since he arrived to Tijuana. He's Muslim and prays five times a day, but sometimes it's become nearly impossible for him to practice Islam. He says it's because many migrants don't care to understand his culture and religion, making him feel unsafe sometimes to perform his daily prayers. With the lack of resources and assistance for Muslim families, <laughs> Migrant advocates have now opened a mosque and a refugee empowerment center, a safe place that will provide an area to pray while also offering housing and legal assistance. There was a lot of challenges for us as a Muslim, as Latina, building a shelter in Tijuana. A lot of challenge, you don't believe how much, but thanks to God, we did it. Every year, the number of Muslim refugees living in Tijuana grows larger. Some of them live here by choice and others have either fled their country or are deportees seeking asylum. Fleeing uh, war zones, uh, fleeing uh, pers persecution and uh, uh, still, but uh, we have here about 18 Afghani refugees. Which is why this weekend, the 8,000 square foot shelter opened its doors and housed 30 migrants coming from Pakistan, Kenya, Afghanistan, and other countries. All 30 of them struggling to adapt to life in Mexico, but hoping this shelter will change that. Yeah, this is uh, for Muslims actually more, but uh, for refugees, but for non-Muslims also. They're helping for everybody. Every, everybody who needs the help, they're helping. This is the first Muslim refugee shelter in Tijuana, and it's supposed to accommodate more than 150 people a day. Reporting at the border for CBS 8, I'm Regina Yurita.